In episode 55 of Bullet Heaven, we took a look at a radical fusion of shoot 'em up and versus fighting in the form of war tech Senko no Ron. Even though it had a few problems like sluggish control and sparse, stuttery online play, it was also a very innovative, and ultimately fun, marriage of two completely different genres. And as it turns out, pretty influential as well. In 2008, Japanese indie developer Orange Juice adopted the Senko no Ron formula and infused it into its sides for Siguri, and the result was Acceleration of Siguri. In 2011, Rock and Android published the game complete with its expansion as Acceleration Siguri X Edition. The similarities between Siguri X and Senko no Ron are quite striking, but how does it compare? Let's take a deeper look. Much like Senko no Ron, the combat and acceleration of Siguri is fighting game stock, complete with life bars, special ability gauges, and a number of different attacks to take out your opposition. The game flow takes place over six stages set within circular arenas. Each character has a set of three life gauges to deplete, after which they are KO'd. Each character has a main direct attack, a scatter attack, and a dash button mapped to the controller, and different combinations of these buttons will yield different attacks. There's also a melee shift mapped to the L1 button that allows for a powerful close range attack to be activated while it's held down. In addition to all of this, there is a special attack button mapped to triangle, which can be combined with other attack buttons for different special attacks, which use varying amounts of the special gauge by your life bar. And lastly, as you continue to attack, the heat percentage under your life bar will mount, allowing you to do more damage. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that the control in this game is wicked fast. You can fling your chosen character from one end of the circular arena to the other in no time at all. In fact, it could be a little too fast since often you'll find yourself whizzing past your opposition so quickly that the camera has a hard time following you around. This can lead to more than a few frustrating collisions with errant bullets. However, your guile isn't all bad. Being able to scream by enemy projectiles plays into one of the more interesting aspects of the game. You can charge your special attack gauge by catching enemy bullets within the rings that appear as you dash about. This can and often does tip the scales in most battles, allowing for many more special attacks to be formed as a result. While the controls aren't as smooth as they could be, and while Siguri X doesn't give the best first impression, the gameplay is still more than manageable with a bit of dedication. Additional story arcs and unlockable characters are a welcome addition, and two-player versus extends to Korea's staying power, though the lack of online matches is a bit sour. And while the overall Senko no Ron vibe is ace for fans of G-Rev's cool mashup, the lack of a boss mode is both a blessing and a curse. Also on the curse side, some of the characters are quite unfairly balanced. Iru and Kyoko in particular feel overpowered and a bit too cheap. All of the scoring in Siguri X is derived from an end round bonus that takes the amount of time and life remaining into account. The highest damage count inflicted and highest hit combo reached is also factored in. You receive a letter grade in addition to your numeric score which will, if consistently at or above A rank, open additional matches in the stage set up to a maximum, as far as I know, of 8 matches before game end. This is also required to unlock new characters. On the presentation side of things, we had a classic case of the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, Siguri X's music is well produced and fun to listen to, on the whole. Kudos there. The bad, the character design leaves a bit to be desired, with some pretty butch looking girls amongst others with frail, too skinny arms and fingers. But this pales in comparison to the ugly. Additional story arc scenes look like they came straight out of MS Paint, yee. All in all though, the presentation is more or less successful, with a good localization and clean interface. The visuals in battle are a bit sparse to be sure, and the character sprites are tiny and equally sparse in terms of animation, but it all works rather well, albeit in a quaint indie way. 
paired with a decent challenge rating and online leaderboards, Zaguri X is pretty solid. Let's see how it stacks up. In stark contrast to Sanko no Ron, there is no problem at all in hurling your fighter around the screen. In this case, it's actually too fast. I found that the control was pretty frustrating most of the time. On the challenge side, easy is, well, easy. But normal difficulty and above offer some challenges that can be testing without practice. The challenge here is moderate, and definitely kicked my ass more than once. With 6 to 8 stage sets depending on performance and additional story arcs to unlock, there's quite a bit to play here. Two-player versus gives Siguri X a bit more staying power. Sparse visuals are clear and the interface is clean, but some story sequences look like rushed MS paint jobs. The character art was lacking, though I thought the in-game sprites were kinda cute. Overall, the music and sound succeeds with clear sound effects and catchy tunage. The music was definitely the highlight of the game. I love the OST. Siguri X doesn't stray too far from the Senko no Ron formula, so fans of Siguri X's obvious source material should be able to dive into the game with no trouble. But while seasoned veterans will feel at home, it also feels a bit samey and a tad underwhelming. Despite all of this though, the game was fairly playable and fun in the end, once we got the hang of it. Acceleration of Siguri X Edition gets a 3.5 out of 5. <laughs> In addition to the PS3 version, you can also find Acceleration of Suguri X on the PC as well via Gamer's Gate for only 6 bucks, or in the Suguri Perfect Collection which also includes the original Suguri side-scroller on PC for $19.99. If you like Sanko no Rond or at least thought it looked kind of interesting, Acceleration of Suguri X is also worth a good hard look.